Islandor 8 uses Drupal context to allow for front-end configuration of most aspects of the workflow and displays. To add a new context, we go to Structure, Context, and here we can see the existing context that ship with Islandor defaults. We're going to add our own. We'll call it Islandora thing. And what we're going to do is have a block that displays when an object is Islandora content. So we'll add that to the description as well. Asserts that a thing is Islandora content. We'll save those general details. And now we're taken into a configuration screen where we can add conditions where we want this context to apply. Many of these conditions come with Islandora defaults. So we'll look for the condition that node is an Islandora object. So we've set a condition for when we want it to apply, and now we need to set what happens when that condition is met. In this case, the reaction we want will involve placing a block. So we'll select blocks. We're going to place a block, and I've already made one ahead of time with Islandora thing. I don't want to display the title, which means I'm going to make this a unique instance of this block so that it is not going to use whatever configuration was applied on the block itself. It's going to use configuration just for this context of the block. I'm going to move it into the content area where I want it. And I also want to make sure that I include blocks from the regular block menu, otherwise my context block is the only thing that will appear when I have the condition met. Alright, I've created my new condition. Now when I go out to my home page and find myself an Islandora object to look at, so this open sea dragon viewer is being provided by a context, and so is this block asserting that this thing is Islandora content. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit islandora.ca.